I am NASA astronaut Mike Fowl. My earliest space-related memory was at the age of about six years old. I went to the World State Fair in Minneapolis, St. Paul uh, with my mom and grandma, my American grandma. And I saw John Glenn's capsule there. It, only, uh, it was back in the 60s, early 60s. And uh, it was all blackened, and looked charred. Uh, one person only could fit in that capsule. And they said that it had been into space. And I thought, wow, I'd like to do that. Well, I, I've lived on the Mir space station for five months, and I've lived on the ISS for uh, six months. Um, there was about eight years difference in time between the missions. Uh, Mir was 1997, and I flew on the station in 2003-04. The Russian bit of the space stations is the same, because uh, the Russians had the same technology that they took from Mir, and they put it onto the International Space Station. Their spacesuits are similar, their rocket is similar. The American part, of course, and the international part apart, the Japanese pieces and the European pieces on the International Space Station weren't there uh, on Mir. And so they're new and different. Um, and so there's a little bit of the old and a little bit of the new in the International Space Station. However, the experience of living in space for four and a half months on Mir, six months on the uh, International Space Station, pretty much the same. The, big, the good thing about being a, an astronaut today at NASA is being uh, part of an international program. And I was a terrible language student when I was a kid in school. However, uh, when I was sent to Russia to study the, the Mir space station and lived there with my family for one and a half years, um, I learned Russian and I had Russian friends and I, and I learned about the Russian culture and history. I've become much more humanistic um, and it's of great value to me. Um, I'm still a good scientist. So. Uh, Taking part in other countries' missions and is, a, is a positive thing and it lets me get new friends and learn new approaches to solving problems in space. To get ready to become an astronaut, you need to study hard in school, math and science, physics. Um, and I thought quite hard about what it would take to be either a test pilot astronaut or a scientist astronaut. I chose the science route. Um, and, and did well in my exams. I also did the outdoor things like uh, scuba diving and I learned to fly and uh, I followed all of the interests that go around space flight um, and I put those together as well to make myself a good candidate when I applied to NASA. <laughs>